Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Questmaster. Since we've now made like one dungeon, we're basically experts at this. So let's go ahead and look at this board over here, and look and see what other people are doing. A small adventure of Banui. A spin to win. It looks like some good stuff. Let me actually try out the small adventure of the of Banui. Puzzle solving. I've actually seen this one being played, so I, n I know what it's like, so it's it's not very long, it's very it's pretty short, it's pretty good. It's a good example of a good dungeon, so... Let's get this, get an extra heart crystal. Take out some of these... snakes. Can't remember what they're called. I, need to l I have to, like, take a long time to learn all the names of these... enemies and items. I have to dig up holes, that's what this is. I see now, so you have to actually, like, have... Special things for holes. Interesting. I didn't see what they were before. Oh, hello. Funny seeing you here. I don't think we need this for the chest though, but that would be interesting if that was a... Uh, like a thing you could adjust. Also, can I... Pull this. Like that. So we don't have to push it as far. That'll work. Oh, can we break things with it? Wow. Anyway, that's the end of this dungeon because that's the crystal there. Interesting stuff. Took 54 seconds to complete this dungeon. That wasn't too bad. Not quite world record pace, but you're on a good track. Yeah, I liked it. So yeah, we can do like lots of community made dungeons and stuff, which is cool. Uh, let me see. I actually want to go to back to the lucky house as well. Also, hello, sign. Not in town right now. Signed, Boo. Thank you, Boo. Lucky house, let's go. I'm not sure when this updates, but I think it's like after doing dungeons, probably. Darling, you already had tried your luck earlier. Have you forgotten already? Come back later, will ya? But how much later is later? How, how much, how much, how much later? What do I need? I don't, I don't actually know. <laughs> need to find another key is what we need. We might get it from doing some more dungeons and creating some more things. I also want to go back to this place, don't I? Just gonna look around. Praise rings? No rings for praise. Maybe I have to do some, like, bigger dungeons, possibly. More advanced things. It doesn't say, like, rewards or anything for doing dungeons, I think. Best rated. Interesting. Also, there's some crazy things that they've made. <laughs> crazy things. Like, entire recreations of games kind of things. But also, I have a specific thing that I'd like to do right now, so let's go to search and put in a code. Make sure I have the right thing. And let's uh, go to it, because we can like search up things that other people have made. So let's do this one by True Girl, who you should also go check out. Let's play. This was created for Zelthon 1986. Where people would donate money to add things to the dungeon, which is really cool. Also, this dungeon entrance is awesome. Just have to point that out right now. Uh, but anyway. I, I was there when it was made, so I do know some of the things. We can ignore pro most of the enemies here. Which is good for us. Uh, but we will need to be a little bit careful. Let's pull this out of the way. Go in! Quick! Okay. Oh, actually, sh I should actually probably show the thing that you're supposed to see first. Probably. <laughs> Just because I can. I know the answer to the thing, but... I should probably go find some other things. You can also just brute force some of these things as well. These slimes are gonna be annoying, aren't they? There we go, nice. Oh boy. We can see here that these signs here are 231. Which is like Zelda reference to 23 is number 1. In case you did not know that. 
So let's go back over this way. And let's take a look at some things, because there's a way down this way we can do. Some mild bugs that will be patched pro later. Which also, the code is not like the order to hit them, like hit two, then three, then one. It's those ones specifically in this, the, the, yeah. So it's three, one, two. But yeah. Get a key. Thank you. You can also reset the puzzles, which is good. I'm pretty sure it doesn't give us extra rewards though, which is, makes sense. Wouldn't expect it to break anything else. Also, I got stuck there. That's interesting. Now, where can I use this? Not here, but we can also do this now. That we need know the puzzle code. Pu puzzle code. Words are hard. Blah. I'm choking, I'm choking. There we go. Got some barrels, which we can roll into. To break, if we do it right. Very nice. And some note blocks. I broke it. No, it didn't. It's still fine. There we go, and we get bombs. Now, how do I use an item again? F? I don't think I actually used bombs in the previous thing that I did. How do I... Oh! Right click, apparently. We can blow up that wall there. And we can get a heart fragment. Oh! A bomb! Hope there wasn't anything else in that grass. I think we're fine. Probably. I honestly don't remember, so it's pretty fine. So can't go that way because it's got those spikes up. The pillars, things. I don't know what they're called. We can't go... Ow. Can't go this way because it's mud and we'll fall into it. Sink into the mud. Flashbacks. Gonna ignore the enemies for the most part, probably. Let's go into here. Which I found out earlier tonight that the, one of these flame bars was put here by, or donated for, by Zachman103, which is really cool. He's awesome, so. Oh, fire, 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 it makes you run around. Just gonna be very extra careful. Small key, use it to unlock a door and blocks. Nice. Had to hit all the switches if I didn't say that. So we have two keys now, so we can do some extra things. Over here, so let's take a look at these. And this has been updated since when it was on Zodathon, which is cool. We've got these skulls here that we can throw... How do we do this? Do we have to throw it from a distance, or can we... We can kind of move it like that, but I think it's probably better for us if we... throw it from over here. Also, I hit both of those with one, that's nice. Got the map. Can also throw a bomb onto that to blow that up. And get another chest. Get a heart fragment. Now, I really hope I don't regret this, but I'm pretty sure if we roll across, we can actually push that block there. That's why it's there, just in case you get self-locked across over there. You have to think of all the things. It's crazy. I'm probably going to make so many mistakes I'm going to have to learn from. Also, enemies. That was rude, having that. Rush me. It's fine. Lots of enemies here. <coughs> ah, dying. Also, I think when you have an enemy die, you can actually make them spawn an enemy on top of that enemy, so it looks like it has lots of health. Also, these things are strong. These are basically, like, mid-boss level enemies, kind of. Come and jump at me. Oh my goodness, how much health does it have? Also, more enemies. It seems to be difficult to get the those enemies to, the, like, when they split, to not drop the chest there, which is interesting. Got Hermes boots though. That'll be good. So we can get over the mud. Try to think of what else I haven't done yet. Oh, there's a thing here. Let's blow that up. Ah, 
Oh, and that's new as well. So many new things. Those are basically there just to make sure that if you blow up the, the thing there, you don't get stuck. Also, I guess it would be fine for us to just push these in, right? Am I cheating? Is this cheating? Sorry, Trill, I'm sorry. Oop. We can also just blow up these boxes, which is good for us. But if we can, like, push them together, that's probably good for us as well, so we can get them with less bombs. But you can also, like, blow up the things underneath them, so that, um, they drop into the pit, so. Okay, let's go. Reset was there if we needed it, which we're fine. Now, what else is there? We can Hermes boots over this way now. Let's do that over the mud, otherwise we just fall into it. Um, now, I think I want to do a thing here first, because we can't step over the tiles twice, but maybe if we do like that, and then that, there we go. It's a tricky puzzle to get right, so I'm only able to do that because I have seen it before, otherwise I'd have fallen to pits a lot. Also, did that delete the item? Did I accidentally delete the item? I am concerned that that's a thing you can do. And I will definitely abuse that if I can. Because we swapped items because we can only hold one item at a time. Okay, it looks like it's still in the chest. It's just swapped. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't like delete it forever, but that would be rude. Especially because there are ways to block off reset switches. For certain reasons, so you can't, like, break something else. There are resets for resets on resets, basically. There are so many ways to, like, break a puzzle. That you have to think of. I'm gonna <laughs> regret a lot of things, aren't I? Also, we can probably burn these. If we need to. I think we probably have to light all these up as well. And hit that switch if possible. Oh boy, here we go. I'm going. That's pretty fine. I think that is actually good for us. Okay, let's go again. Go the other way. Probably should hit that. Oh, that's a bouncer. Okay. I should have actually left it as it was, because it would have just bounced us back anyway. But I want to hit the thing here, probably. There we go. That spawned a chest up there. This is really cool though, this is a good dungeon. Oh, I made a mistake. I have regrets, I have regrets. No, this is fine. Oh no. It's not fine. <laughs> it's fine, but it's not fine. Also, those like, like, overlapping corner pieces is interesting. Because that way you could like, because if you have a feather, you can actually jump in the minecart. So that would probably be good to have that so you don't accidentally do that. If like there's like a thing on the other side to catch you and throw you back again. But also that might have the same problem. Unless there's a wall in the way. To save you. Ah! Good trap, good trap. Uh oh. You know, this is why the reset's here as well. That makes sense. Because otherwise you can push the minecarts away too far. There's gonna be so like every time you make a room in a in a dungeon, you're gonna have to rethink it over and over and over until you get it right, probably. I imagine. Also, how do I dispose of these switches here? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. We can flame rod across. Nice, and get another heart fragment. How many of those do we have now? Three. So either there's one more that I'm missing, or I'm going to be very sad with myself, possibly. Got that. 
Looks like there's another floor. Which is gonna be the end, so I'm not sure if there is another piece, unless I am really bad at video game. Which I am. And it's just like sitting out here in the open. No? Oh, maybe if we defeat all the enemies. That would add up. That would, that, that would add up. Come on. How many enemies have I missed? Quite a few, apparently. I was ignoring them for the most part. But they shouldn't be too difficult to find and get rid of. Luckily. Don't need the heart, we're good. Come here, you. There we go. Item jingle. Let's grab that. We've got another heart crystal. Let's get to the end of this. This is actually a really good dungeon. Like, really good. Also, I really like these checkpoints. Let's open up the big door. Let's go. We've been checkpointed in. And they're going back now. Also, a fairy. That's very nice. Fairies activate when we die, so... I think you can only have one, but I have not confirmed that. Oh my goodness! It's angry. It's a red one. Oh! Oh, and that's water pit. Need to be careful of those. I need to, like, build up my eye for, like, pits. I'm not used to these kinds of pits yet. Ah! I can hear my cat. Wanting attention outside. I have to beat the dungeon for him. There we go. Let's grab the crystal. That was a really good dungeon. 11 minutes, 39 seconds. That wasn't too bad. Not quite world record pace, but you're on the right good track. I'm probably just going to ignore that text from now on. It's not what I'm here for. I'm just here to have fun. So there we go. Good dungeon. Very nice. Okay, cat update. He's completely ignored me and gone to find something better than me because I took too long. But anyway, I believe we can also possibly... Heh, heh, heh. Maybe. How do I... Creator? We can actually follow the creators that we see around here as well. So if there's any, like, good dungeons that you play and you want to, like, follow this person, see what else they can make, you can do that to follow them. But anyway, oh my goodness, that was a lot. I don't think we've got anything new, though. I don't know how to get us anything new. I really am unsure. We're told to check back with the other guy later. Also, this is a bowl. I got a bowl! Can't stop me now. There's also this thing here that's supposed to show up occasionally, I think. Ah, oh, but maybe we'll try building a dungeon, which now's a probably bad time to be doing that. Because of how long it's gonna take. Ah, uh, but we'll, like, throw something together. I am not. I don't have to explain everything as we go this time. Also, one thing I forgot to explain about is the themes. So we have Gustwind Palace, Amberstone Quarry, Dewdrop Roots, and Sandswept Ruins. Four different themes for our dungeon to be. So let's try something different. I'm feeling... What am I feeling? I'm not really feeling any of these, but, like, I have to pick something, right? Maybe I'll go Quarry. Quarry good. Also, doors and stuff is gonna be really weird with this. Like, you have to learn each theme for what the icons are gonna be. That's fine. It's just gonna be... Pretty difficult for me because I'm not used to it yet. But I look forward to learning stuff. So, that's a pipe, a solid object. It's just a wall, I assume. Dead bush we can cut with a sword. Okay, I'm trying to think of what else I want to add.
That seems pretty good. Hot coals can safely be walked on. Floor, trap, hole, grating. Okay, let's work on the next room. I might also just like put this over there for the moment. Out of the way. I've learned some things from watching other people. Not not much, but just like a tiny bit. Because we can also like make a hole be like our main thing to start off. And then we can go down a floor. Have to make sure I line this up correctly though. Which is probably. So we can see that now. Cool. So now we can go on from here, I guess. It might be a bit much having like multiple rooms to start off, but that, that's fine. Let's spread this out nicely. How big is that? I need to like measure things. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make this a little bit bigger. I like that we can just like make the rooms really big. It's really cool like that. Might even make this a little bit wider. Is that wrong? If I measure this right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's put in some lava again. Three away. Like, you can do so much with, like, tiny movements. Or, like, large movements, actually, is what I should probably be saying. Oh, so we can move the entrance, but that, make, that makes sense. You can only have one entrance pro, though. Uh, how do I make a, like, a big door? Thinking. Thinking. Because we can do that, but that's not really the door I'm after, though. I think it's the door I'm probably going to have to... No, oh, this one. Big door. Like that. Okay, that's cool. We can work with this. I kind of want to put more lava in, but I'm not sure how I want to do that yet. Wish I could, like, have, like, paths that looks like the lava's going through. I don't know if I can do that. Let me see what I have. Window? Does that kind of work? Not really. Can't adjust it either. Yeah, I don't know about that. We also go back up the floor. Add some windows in here. Seems like too open now. I want it to feel like deep. I want it to feel deep. Take that as you will. Um... I don't want a checkpoint as well, maybe? It doesn't really need a checkpoint, though. But it might be good to have a checkpoint in anyway, so that if any point the player comes past here, they have to... Uh, they can hit the checkpoint so they don't lose progress and have to go back to a previous room. Where is the check... Where, blah, 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 where's the checkpoint? Where is checkpoint? There it is. Finally. Took me long enough. But I want to make this pit, like, something. Probably. But we also need to get the boss key over here as well. It might be good to have some spawners as well, maybe? No, maybe. What can I make it spawn, though? Like, can I tie something to that? And can it be a bush? I don't think it can be a bush. I was really hoping I could, like, have respawnable, like, items. Maybe that happens automatically? I'm not sure. Cracked wall maybe is good? I don't know, I have to, like, really think about this. Let me build some more rooms, quickly. That's too close. There we go. Try and keep the room sizes, like, similar. I also like having the shape of the room be, like, squared, squared out with the rooms around it. Nope, that's too close. Too close. Also, I can do, like, different room sizes and shapes out from the middle room, I think. Like, I could have it mirrored, but I think it's going to be better off if I just do it differently for this. 
how much do I want to do for this? <laughs> not too much, if possible. Just like a few, just a few rooms. Not Nothing too big. Okay, it's like three blocks away is a room. Good to know, good to know. I don't think I can, like, cut it that way, though. So you have to be, like, specifically inside of the square shapes. Which will be interesting. Yeah, this is a very interesting learning experience, just, like, making a dungeon like this. Okay. So I guess we could actually, like, fill some space in, couldn't we? Like that. Interesting. Probably want more floor, though, there. Maybe I can do, like, that thing that I was talking about with that. <laughs> I wish that would work. Oops. I definitely messed that up completely, but it's fine. Let's put in some doors. Maybe I should have it, like, have to cross over. It doesn't, like, need to go both ways or something. Or maybe I could lock this behind... Ah, uh, what's it called? Ah... Uh, the token things. Trying to really, like, mash through this. If I can, like, build up my speed, that's, like, all I need, pretty much. I probably want to put some hearts in. Probably don't need too many, though. I think that's something I'm going to just have to learn. Also, I love how the skulls have, like, eye- like, lose up eyes when they have something in them. And the pots have, like, toppers. It's really cool. Uh, it might actually be worth putting in that bomb of a wall that I was mentioning. There. So we can have a secret room over here. This is like way more advanced than I should be trying to do in a short amount of time. But that's okay. Make a smaller room. And then I want to put in a heart crystal probably, but I probably want to put it in like a chest or something. Just have something there. Where are the skulls? Want those again. You can actually rotate those around, which is cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Now, what else can I do? I need doors. Let's put a door there, and maybe a... Or just a door there. We're not going to deal with levels for now. We could also, like, start a dungeon and then, like, continue at a later point. So we could, like, make a base of a dungeon. We could also, like, make it, like, one room at a time and, like, progress from there. But I really want to, like, just, just see how much I can do in a short amount of time. How do I want to do this, though? Because I need to make this connect somehow. I could make a staircase and then, like, drop from above. I don't really want to do that again, though. And we'd have to make a way back, so that's probably not... Brilliant idea. Also, does that connect? Nope. Not the way I want it to, anyway. Like, I think we can also, like, space these rooms out as well. If we wanted to. It's like, as long as they're in line with each other. Pretty sure. That it should connect? That's the wrong thing. Yeah. So we can have things a little bit more spaced out, which is pretty cool as well. It might make more sense for some things. Especially like these sides of the dungeon, actually. I'm gonna stick to what I was just saying and actually like do that. It might make it feel more like a deep in a cave situation. So let's do that. We just got to put a door in somewhere over here and then work that out, probably. That's a staircase. I keep making that mistake. Let's do that there. Now, over here, I probably want to also, like, get rid of that, so we're not making a mess of things. Uh, we can put some, like, floor in to make it look cool. 
That might makes a really cool sound when we put it in as well. Hopefully it doesn't like hurt us though. Let me just test that. It doesn't seem to have any visible effect, so that seems fine. I also want to like probably lock this off for the moment. So we have to go find a key for that and then come back. So let's work over here for the moment. I'm really like going overtime for this probably. So that's fine. Let's so maybe put in some enemies actually over this way. Shell rot, maybe some skelly boys. TM. We we'll have to tie those to something else probably. I had an idea and I lost it already, so that's bad for me. It's a shame. I had a good idea too to like connect those to something else, but it's gone now. We're gonna have to come back to that. Now, let me put in this though as a way back because that feels like a cool idea to have it like come back to those two spots. I don't know how well it will work though. We'll see. We'll find out. It'd be better if that like appeared later though. I don't think I can do anything like that though. Put in some of those. Can I also make this different? No. Okay, that's fine. We might give like another enemy in that room or something. Just for something else. How's up? Floor notch thing. Slink? I could put a slink in maybe. Nah, it's fine as it is. I think some bats though would be good. Let's see, what else can we do? I'm adding more things I need to right now, it's fine. Just, just give the enemies something. No, I probably should have just done that. We can make hearts drop from other things, which is the thing. Um, How do we want to, like, solve these rooms? That's something else I have to actually think about before making a room, probably. Ah, uh, there's floating platforms which we can make. I think they actually sink though. Well, you can make them sink. Direction. Speed. Return. Let me check this quickly. Yeah, that sinks. We have to be careful about that. That's cool though. How do I make this move? A lot faster. Don't do that. Ha, 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 ha. Interesting. Very interesting. It's not really what we need, though. We actually, what we really need is items, but we haven't set up a way to for that yet. Um. That's cool. Good. That works. I don't think that's what I want. Is there an undo? Yeah, there is an undo. That's really helpful as well. Gonna have to make big use of that. Much use. I wish I could put like a thing on the ground to indicate the boss. I don't think that's a... Yeah. <laughs> It'd be cool, but yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, I should really be finishing this up already, but that's fine. We'll keep it going. It just really shows how much this takes time to do things. So switches, maybe? Maybe we could tie something to these enemies, actually. Conveyor belt as well. I'm not smart enough for this. I have to really do this. I think I'm going to have to build more things off of screen. But, like, I can make a base of a dungeon, probably. And then work on it other times. It's really hard to actually do. Like, really hard. How do I do this? I really need to give the character an item. Because at the moment, it's just combat character. TM. Maybe I can make some of these spawner things and spawn some skulls. How do I... Maybe it's like whatever I put on top of it. Which would be these, in this case. 
Also, I probably could have put the grass things... Yeah, it's fine. Can I rotate those? No, I can't. Okay. But then we need to have something else happen. That we want to do something with. Need some kind of switch. Maybe I'd want the conveyor belts, but no. This is tricky. Very tricky. Trust me, it's tricky. I should probably just like put in some switches and then like work on it from there. I don't know about that. We can make it so you have to hit them in order, but I don't think that's going to be very intuitive. To say the least. I don't want to make the play have to reset a lot. Because that would be a bit annoying. Not to diss any other times that that's happened. Just like, in this case, I don't want to do that. Because it's going to have to like do a lot of walking. I also want to give the player bombs at some point. That should be a thing that I make. Unlock something else. So I need to think about how I can integrate bombs into stuff. How do I do this? I'm thinking about it. We can actually change that from a heart to something else, maybe. We can make that be like a feather. So you can get around a bit more. And that could, like, tie into this. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm cooking, I'm cooking, let me cook! I wanna get rid of that. Then how do I make the ground again? Like that. This is how you cook, this is how you cook. Let him cook. So we tied that to something else after a moment, but we're gonna first gonna put bombs in. Bombs into there. Tie this to that. I wonder if there's a way to just copy and paste them certain things. Possibly. So we activate that now. Cool, cool. I could also probably put some more things in just for effect, probably. Ooh, in flame bar, maybe? That'll be annoying, but, uh... Just trying to think about this. Think this through a bit. No, I do want that to be lava, don't I? We can have, like, this door just be open, I guess. Maybe I can move those further away. Like that. That might be the play. That might be the, that might be the play. Hang on. Lava. And then that. Gotta, like, figure out an order for things. We have a flame bar there. Clean that up a bit. We're cooking. We're cooking. I'm taking a while, but I'm cooking. Gonna put those there to indicate that there's a thing there. Uh, we'll have this open to start off, but we need a way to jump to be able to get across here. If I can make floating platforms just here. Just like... How do I... Make it bigger? Can I make it bigger? There we go, like that. This, this room's the wrong size. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's too perfect. I might just need to do like that. And we can put in some extra lava, so. Just want a slightly bigger platform. So let's maybe move that that way. How far does that go? we test this out. Goes all the way. Okay. So maybe if there's a way to copy and paste that'd be great right now. 
That's not quite what I meant. Oh well. We can just figure it out like that, probably. Because yeah, that way they'll bump in the middle and have to go back and forth. It's not really ideal, but if we make this room a little bit bigger, it'd be fine, I think. Like that. I might even add in a few bats just to make it more annoying. Not that that's really a good thing, making things more annoying. That's fine. Then over here we'll have... Key, I guess? Probably key. Because we need to get bombs for that, and then feather for that. So next up would be... Key. If I can figure this out. Might also be cool to just like have other items around. Hidden maybe. I'm, I'm still cooking. I'm taking a while, but I'm cooking. Cracked block. Breaks with explosion. Gonna put in some of these just like as decoration almost. It's gonna be in the way. Might wanna put some like different floor tiled down. Breaks. Hot coals. Now I feel like that's not the what I'm wanting for this area here. 